Yes, well, my research is about the history of opposition to universal human rights, uh, the rights of the 1948 Universal Declaration. Uh, so it looks at the arguments that were made against human rights in the second half of the 20th century. So, you know, we, I guess the story of uh, the rise of human rights is one that's now very well told, uh, but people generally haven't looked so much at uh, how people opposed, subverted and argued against uh, rights. And my work will be the first to do that. Well, the key outcome uh, will be a, a historical monograph that will look at um, well, what were the arguments themselves? The, the most obvious one is the, the argument that human rights were specific to the West and had no application to, to countries across Asia and Africa. Uh, and that's an interesting argument, but where did it come from? You know, did, did this argument um, emerge from dictatorships themselves? Well, generally they're not that clever and not that articulate. So uh, what I've been finding is in fact that these ideas often migrated from the academy, from universities and from researchers who, who put forward these ideas um, in a scholarly fashion and then they were mobilised for a political purpose. So uh, the outcome is, is to see how did the arguments circulate, where were they from and what influence did they have and we'll have a, ideally at the end of the project, have a very good sense of, of the origins um, of the arguments and I think that goes some way to to telling towards their legitimacy. Human rights are, uh, at least officially, a very strong element in Australian foreign policy. And uh, Australia does aim to promote human rights both uh, bilaterally with uh, our, our, our neighbours and our friends as well. Um, and often uh, we, I suppose, run into the challenge of, well, are we lecturing on values which are just our own. So I think the, the main outcome will be a better understanding um, of the legitimacy of universal human rights. Um, are they merely Western constructs? Um, are they appropriate to countries which are developing? You know, is it appropriate for countries to, to pour all of their efforts into development rather than um, individual freedom? Uh, and uh, ideally, I think at the end of the project, we'll have a sense of the, the legitimacy of human rights or a better sense of the legit legitimacy of human rights by looking at the arguments against them, where they came from uh, and how they, they influenced um, the human rights order in the, the second half of the 20th century.